Hello, this is Bob423. We're going to do something a little different this time. I want to show you how the information from the Bob423 surveyors is being used. The Bob423 surveyor is a team so far of six people who have installed the same type of connection between their depth sounder and Acromap that I have. So the Acromap actually displays uh, the depth at any point on the track. Uh, let me illustrate with an example. The red track you see is one of the surveyors that I've, we have on our team, uh, Michael Casio. And if I were to tap his track, it comes up with the date, 7, 10, 21, he went through. It shows the distance, uh, or the actual depth, of 16.16 uh, .16 feet at that point. The date and the time. And armed with that information, uh, you can come up with the tide, uh, which I did. And the tide at that point was uh, 2.4 uh, feet. Actually, 1.7 feet of tide at, at the New River. So what we can do, my blue line is uh, where I went through in May. Actually, it's a Justin line because I went through when the direction wasn't done yet and I changed it. And so the question is... Uh, What's the depth now due to dredging? And has there been any change? So one can look at this chart, and it was tapping him again. And now you see uh, a depth chart on the bottom right. I'll tap on the eye. And notice the 41.5 nautical miles. What we're going to do is expand that. and get the same 41.5, so we back where we started at. And then you see in this area of New River, where the minimum depth was at. And it turns out to be 11 feet. Now we'll tap on the globe sign down here. That shows right where the minimum depth is, 11 feet. And if you were to uh, take the 11 feet, uh, it's in fact 1.7 from it, uh, you get pretty close to uh, 9.1. So we know now uh, that the minimum depth through there is about 9 feet if you follow the red dotted line, and you came a little close to where the old dredge material is still at, as far as we know, um, but it's not any worse than that. Uh, now, you see him follow uh, the path down. Uh, Michael went into Malhamet Bay, and I'll use his track uh, and put it as part of the uh, side trips and add it into the database for getting into uh, Malhamet Bay successfully. Because if you tap on it, you can see how much feet. You saw 11.5 feet. And with a tide of about 2 feet, uh, you know, it's pretty good uh, depth through there. Now, one place we were very interested in is the shallow spot by uh, the Green Buoy uh, 65A. And there's actually, there's two spots. There's one over here in my finger, another one over by this point. So what depth did Michael see going through that? Uh, getting the wrong one. We want to see the depth on 7-Eleven. There you go, 9.2 feet. Now that's at that point, but was that the minimum? So we'll go back to this chart. Uh, take note of uh, 0 0.6. We're gonna expand the chart so we can see more detail. And move it until we get to 0 0.6 area. And you see there was a spike right here. went down to 8.9 feet. At 8.9 feet with a tide of 2.4 the next morning resulted in a depth of 6.5 feet. That's a little shallow. And where is it at? It's at the globe. It's right there, 6.5 feet. So as of 629, we know the depth at that point. That's good to know. But was that the minimum?
Well, I think we saw something that was a little bit uh, more shallow than that. Again, 0 0.6. Take note of that because we're going to expand the scale so we can see what's ha happening. Okay, there's our 8.9. What's happening right here? Look at that. That's down to 8.5 feet. Wow. With a uh, tide of 2.4 feet, that's down to 6.1 feet. Let's hit the globe to find out where that's at. Ah, oh, it's right there. Well, that's good to know. And so what happens is I take these charts, uh, these uh, tracks given to me by the explorer, I convert them into mean low water and uh, keep track of uh, whether or not uh, a new track should be drawn or whether or not the alert for the area should be redone. They keep track of shoaling in almost uh, real time. With six surveyors going up and down the ICW at various times of the year, it's very valuable information. I just wanted to share with you the use of some of that information. If I were to see, for example, that going to 6.5 feet going to 4 feet, or 5.5 feet, that would be very, very important information for the group. And of course, obviously, I would uh, share it and uh, give you a warning. Now, Michael went all the way from uh, Snow's Cut all the way into, into uh, Beaufort. So there's more information uh, available. Uh, I don't have time to cover in this short video. I just want to give you an example of how the information is used. It's very valuable to all of us. And we give a thank to Michael and all the uh, Bob 423 surveyors.